Mr. Bankowitz, I am writing in regards to not hearing from you and to becoming very concerned after receiving no response to any of my daily calls or from the letters I've sent. As of today, October 3rd, you have been my court-appointed attorney for almost three months, 12 weeks, 84 days, and only spoken to me three times. 7-14-22, video introduction, 15 minutes. 8-2-22, video update, 15 minutes. 8-22-22, visit in person, 90 minutes. I have written two letters in the meantime. Also, my most recent I sent on 9 12 22 with no response. I am unaware of the difficulties you are having in communicating with me. Video, phone, letter, in person, especially via phone, which to me is the simplest form of doing so, even if just for a brief update, which takes only minutes. I believe by you giving me your personal cell number, you are going to answer. I would at least know all is well and have a better understanding of the status of some things, what to plan on, or what I need to work on. With no communication, makes my end more difficult, drawn out, and painful. Please figure out whatever necessary for my phone calls to be answered, which you will be reimbursed for when you submit your costs. It feels at this rate, communication and meetings, and you just coming on board, not having all of my discovery to go over, still on top of everything else to be done, and depth. How much longer am I really going to be here added to the 32 months already? Especially if we communicate however you eventually do, only one time a month, if that. As for all of the month of September, I know nothing from not hearing from you. I understand you have other clients, as I am one also, and you've been recuperating from your back, but remember, please, how long I've been here. You are my sixth attorney, not by choice, and the magnitude of my care with not knowing what's going on or where you are, how much harder it is for me. I want to get on with my life, Mr. Bankowitz, and not miss any more time necessary from my son. I've already missed four of his birthdays and spent three of my own in here. Please understand. No, too. I am patient, clearly, after all the time already invested and still smiling and willing to go above and beyond whatever I, uh, we, need to do to properly and truthfully convey my very convoluted, misunderstood side of everything, which I boldly told you in our meeting last month. I am dedicated, ready to start, overdue. I'm so very grateful, Mr. Bankowitz, for all you are doing, have done, and will do. We're in this together. I'm so blessed that you are my attorney. God has put us in each other's paths for a reason, and I can't wait to see what you and he will do. I'm praying the six times the charm. Please respond. I await your response. Thank you profusely, Sarah Boone. Now the results of our giveaway. All entries had an equal chance to win one of these five prizes. If your username is chosen, you have one week to email us from your Google account to info at absolutelycriminal.com. First up, this deck of absolutely criminal playing cards 
featuring true crime's most infamous kings, queens, and jackoffs. The winner is... P.T. Strong 3. Next, show the police it was totally not intentional and demand your Dr. Pepper and this stylish tea. The winner is... Tom Telton. Don't forget to include your size in men's or ladies when you email us. Finally, these three metal keychains are perfect for holding the keys to your storage locker. You know, that storage locker? Congratulations to Melanie S., GM Flower, and Faith in the Unseen One.